We present a case of robotic assisted bronchoscopy to evaluate a solitary peripheral lung nodule. The patient is a 69 year old male, past medical history significant for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease as well as a 20 pack year smoking history. He presented with a 20 by 8 millimeter right lower lobe lung nodule. On the clinical presentation, there was high clinical concern for malignancy. The CT scan image depicts the nodule in the periphery of the right lower lobe. There is a bronchus sign present with a radiographic airway leading to the lesion. The formed in the operating room under general anesthesia. After intubation, the endotracheal tube is fixed in position with a tube holder. The robotic console is a movable platform with two robotic arms. The robotic arms have 18 degrees of movement to allow precise navigation to the target lesion within the lung. This video depicts the unstowing of the robotic arms in preparation for the procedure. The robotic arm is docked to the endotracheal tube holder at the beginning of the procedure. The figure depicts the electromagnetic field generator as well as the electromagnetic sensors that monitor chest wall movement. The inner bronchoscope is passed through the endotracheal tube holder into the endotracheal tube. The beginning of the procedure involves initialization. Initialization is the process of matching the virtual anatomy with the patient's own anatomy. This involves a series of steps. The first is ensuring the proper orientation of the tracheal bronchial tree. The second step involves advancing the scope to the carina and then withdrawing the scope to a sufficient length to allow orientation with the tracheobronchial tree. When the virtual bronchoscopic view emerges on the screen, initialization is complete. This figure demonstrates the views that are present during the navigation portion of the procedure. There is a live bronchoscopic view Three CT scan views are available consisting of coronal, axial, and sagittal views. There are two views that are present for central navigation. The first image shows the entire tracheobronchial tree. The local views provide a single slice level CT scan view that depicts the target as well as its orientation to the target lesion. There is the ability to transition between the central airway navigation views as well as the peripheral navigation views during the course of the procedure. At procedure navigation, the pathway is depicted on the virtual bronchoscopic view as well as its correspondence to the direct bronchoscopic view. The advantage of robotic assisted bronchoscopy is the ability to navigate the bronchoscope under direct vision through more peripheral airways. There is the ability to rotate the virtual image to provide additional guidance while navigating towards the target lesion. The precision of the robotic control as well as maintaining direct visualization allows a degree of precision not previously possible with standard bronchoscopy. There is the ability to provide suction as well as irrigation through the bronchoscope during the procedure. Distance measurements are provided as the bronchoscope is advanced towards the target lesion. The video shows the bronchoscope at the target lesion in the periphery of the lung. The virtual images provide confirmation of accessing the target lesion. In addition, the video bronchoscopic view shows biopsying of the nodule under direct vision. Multiple instruments were used to biopsy the nodule for this patient. Needle aspiration followed by cytology brush, forceps biopsies, 
and bronchovelar lavage were utilized to obtain sufficient specimen. The airways are inspected during withdrawal of the bronchoscope to ensure no bleeding. Initial pathologic examination was consistent with squamous cell carcinoma. Post-procedure chest x-ray demonstrated no pneumothorax. Patient was discharged to home. In conclusion, robotic-assisted bronchoscopy provides an additional option for diagnosing peripheral lung nodules. Precise navigation of the bronchoscope under direct vision can provide advantages for a difficult to access nodule.